A travel guide for visiting Nagano in Japan. I'm Chris. I'm and today we're going to show you everything to see in Nagano, Japan. In this video, we'll cover the following things. Number one, getting to Nagano from Tokyo. Number two, the area around JR Nagano Station. Number three, Nagano's most popular site, the Zenkoji Temple. Number four, we'll talk about the Olympic history in Nagano. Number five, we'll visit one of the top 100 cherry blossom sites in all of Japan, which is just outside of Nagano. And we'll conclude with a visit to the Nagano Snow Monkey Park, my favorite attraction in Nagano. I've got four more videos on Nagano, you'll find links to those in the description or at the end of this video. Here we go! If you're coming into Nagano, chances are you're taking the new Shinkansen, it's celebrating its first anniversary this year, and you'll be coming into this building, which is Nagano Station. Uh, it has a really neat wooden facade on it, even though it's a new Shinkansen station, they've made it look old and classic. To get to Nagano, you can take the newly opened Shinkansen. This is the bullet train. It just opened recently up there. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes from Tokyo Station to Nagano. And uh, it's still not too busy yet because this isn't the popular tourist route. One thing I'll point out while I'm talking quietly is they tell you to please be considerate of noise. If you look down here on the seat back, there's a sign that says, please be considerate of other passengers while using your computer, keyboard noise, etc. So don't be typing too loud when you're on the bullet train. If you're hungry when you get to Nagano Station, you can head up to the third floor of the station to check out their food floor. One of the specialties of the region of Nagano are soba noodles. Soba is a buckwheat noodle. One of the restaurants here has a person making noodles right out in front. Check this one out. We had lunch there. I had the hot noodle soup and OC Girl had the cold noodles with tempura. Pretty good. One of the other food specialties in Nagano are apples. As you can see here with this apple sculpture in the station. Additionally, in the station souvenir shops, you'll find lots of apple related merchandise. And there's a pastry shop outside of the station that specializes in apple pastries. The major attraction in Nagano is the Zenkoji Temple. The temple behind me, actually the temple behind that gate, that's the inner gate. Uh, there is an outer gate, which is about two blocks down that way. After you pass the outer gate, there's this uh, shopping street. Every good temple has a long street of shops to come up so that you can spend a bit of your money before you come and visit the inner sanctum. This temple uh, is famous because it has the first Buddha statue or first Buddhist related statue that ever came to Japan in the 6th century. Uh, actually nobody can see it. Um, they have a replica of the statue and they let people see it every six years. The next opportunity to see it, 2021. So unfortunately I won't be able to show it to you today, but let's uh, take a look at what else is here in store in the Zenkoji Temple. Before you go through the inner gate, there are these six statues, the Jizo Bosatu. They are protectors of the next six realms. The Hondo, this building, the main hall, uh, was built in 1707. It is one of the largest wooden buildings in Japan. Unfortunately, they don't let you take any videos inside, so we can't go in there. But uh, there's the main altar, and then you can pay 500 yen and go inside this really dark tunnel where you can find a key, which if you touch it in the dark, will apparently lead to true enlightenment. I couldn't make it down there because it was closed when we went, but if you go, let me know if it leads you on the path to enlightenment. Just on the side of the main hall in April, uh, there are actually some very beautiful cherry blossoms. Uh, those are worth checking out in that springtime of year as well. Something very interesting just beneath the main hall, there's this big rock right here, which is the tool tombstone. The tools which were used to build the main hall are buried underneath this rock. After you're done checking out the main hall, wander some of the side streets in this neighborhood to see some of the other cool Japanese buildings. This temple here celebrates the seven gods of good fortune. One of the specialties of Nagano is miso. And you can get miso in lots of different things, including miso flavored ice cream. On the approach up to the main temple, there's a store right behind me that sells miso flavored soft dough cones for 300 yen. Uh, I like miso soup. Miso ice cream is kind of weird. It's hard to describe because that's not really what I expect ice cream to taste like. There are two main ways to get to the Zenkoji Temple. From Nagano Station right here, you can walk. It's two kilometers down this street. Uh, or you can take the train, which will get you off right here at this station. And then it's a seven minute walk from here up to the temple. Or you can do what we did. Take the train there and then walk back. 
it's all downhill if you start from the temple. It's really worth doing the walk at least in one direction because there's lots of cool architecture and stores on this street walking up to the temple. This building right here, it's the post office. It's one of the nicest looking post offices I think I've seen. This building looks like it used to be an old kabuki theater. Maybe kabuki's still there today. Dunno. About halfway between the temple and the station, there's this neat covered shopping street. If it's a rainy day, this is probably a good place to go. Most people know about Nagano, Japan as the home to the Winter Olympics in 1998. And actually a few people on YouTube suggested that I go check out some of the old Olympics facilities. Well, unfortunately, a lot of them have actually been torn down. This right here is a memorial to where they had the Olympic torch. Uh, there are still a few facilities remaining, but you have to take buses or drive to them. They're quite far from the center of the city. If you're here during April when it's cherry blossom season, you can take a train about 25 minutes from Nagano Station to Suzaka Station, walk about 20 minutes to this park, Garyu Park, and uh, this is actually one of the best 100 cherry blossom sites in all of Japan. The cherry blossoms, as you can see, are quite impressive. Uh, we were here on April 10th, 2016. That was full bloom this year. In Tokyo, the cherry blossoms are already bloomed out, uh, but uh, they're doing pretty good here because Nagano's a cooler climate. One of the cool things about this cherry blossom festival, like most of the others across Japan, is they have lots of stalls selling food. Uh, we had some tasty grilled chicken skin, but there was one problem after we ate it. We realized, only after we finished eating it, that they've got these signs here that say all trash must be carried home with you. There are no trash cans in this entire park. So if you're coming here and you're gonna buy any food, make sure to bring a bag with you so you can put the trash in it and carry it back to your home or hotel or the nearest convenience store. They've got trash cans. And the longest line here was for this stall, selling kebabs. Take a look at that line. It goes back quite a ways. Maybe I should open my own kebab shop in Japan. In the center of the park is a really good sized lake that has a nice walking path that runs along it. Throughout the park there are also some very picturesque bridges for taking pictures on, but Topher was really abused by the pedal boats that you could rent, particularly the one that was themed like a panda. But I think the best attraction in all of Nagano, Japan is this one right here. The Jigukadani Snow Monkey Park. And those back there, those are snow monkeys. They're Japanese macaques. They're endangered. And this park was set up so that uh, people can come and see them. It's about an hour train ride outside of Nagano. And uh, then a bus from there, another uh, either 10 minutes or a 40 minute express bus to get here. It's a little bit out of the way, but it's really cool because there aren't many places where you can get this close to these really cool monkeys. And those monkeys are really cute. And it's the best to come when it's snowing because uh, they're called snow monkeys. It's a perfect day today. And it snows here a lot. This is the month of April and it's snowing. To get to the Snow Monkey Park, there are two main ways to get there from Nagano Station. You can either take an express bus or you can take the Snow Monkey Express train to a local bus. Uh, but whichever way you go, you can get the Snow Monkey One Day Pass. It includes round trip transportation and admission to the Snow Monkey Park for 2,900 yen, which is a lot cheaper than if you bought it separately. They have different timetables for each one. Depending upon which time you go, it might be better to take the train or take the bus. The train runs earlier. The buses in the low season, which is not the snowy time, only run three times a day. If you're looking for something to snack on while you go on the train, good news, they've got tons of local produce in the train station. Pick up some Nagano apples. Uh, they're cheap and delicious. This is the specialty of the region. If you're taking the train, the way you'll know it's the right train is because it has a big snow monkey on it. There's two tracks down here, the local track and the express. The express is the one with my new friend here. Once you get off the train, turn right and get on a bus that looks kind of like this. It'll take you to the Snow Monkey Park stop. So after you get off the bus, either the local one or the express bus, you'll end up at this bus stop. Uh, there's a sign that says walk up to the Snow Monkey Park that way. If you need to use the restroom, then it's in the Roman Art Museum in the big concrete building back there. After you walk up the hill for about five minutes, you'll get to this sign that says Snow Monkey Park to the right, 1.8 kilometers. Guess what? Turn right here. Go this way. If you didn't use the restroom at the Roman Museum, use it when you get to this parking lot because this is the last restroom before the Snow Monkey Park. Just past the restrooms at the parking lot is the Enza Cafe serving ramen. Really good to warm you up if it's snowing and cold. 
And then just up the hill past that is the Snow Monkey official information and gift shop. And just beside the gift shop, that's where the hike begins. Uh, if you didn't bring proper hiking uh, attire, you can buy them at the gift shop, or if you didn't bring proper shoes, you can actually rent boots for 500 yen. Now that is a very enterprising business. Uh, the path itself is definitely a bit of a hike. It's not paved. As you can see, it's a dirt path. Uh, on days when it's snowing or raining or the snow is melting, it can be a little bit muddy. So proper footwear is advised. All right, I'll see you at the monkeys. As I was walking, I just realized that Topher is not wearing proper footwear, which means he's going to have to stay in my bag, in his bag, which is then inside my bag. Okay, he's clean in there. The path is nicely signed to let you know how much further is left to go on the walk. From here, there's just 0.9 kilometers before we can see those cute, cute monkeys. We are quite close to the monkey park now. Uh, there's a very strong stream next to it and the smell of sulfur is getting much stronger. It's really neat to walk along this stream. It sounds kind of like the Mississippi. And after about 45 minutes, we'll get here, the entrance to the snow monkey park. Just 500 yen gets you in. The funny thing is that we actually saw some snow monkeys on some of the houses over there and didn't have to pay a penny. After you pay your admission fee, or if you had the one day snow monkey pass show it to them, you'll head further down this trail. There is a little warming room on the right and a couple of toilets that are actually here, but after you pay. Inside the warming room, there's a heater in the middle with some benches around so you can warm up. And there's also the little gift shop where you can buy some souvenirs to take home with you. After about a five minute walk after the ticket booth and crossing that bridge in the back, you will make it to the Monkey Park's main attraction, the hot spring. And they congregate around this man-made pool uh, because the park rangers feed them. Uh, you can come in and you can be up close and personal with the monkeys. You can also see the snow monkeys live on the snow monkey live cam. Jogu Kadani, yenkoem.co.jp. It points right at the hot spring where the monkeys like to collect. The monkeys roam around everywhere, not just in the hot spring. They're up on the hill up there. They're up on the hill up there. They're in the stream down there. Uh, occasionally, you'll just be standing around and all of a sudden there's monkeys running in front of you. While you're in the monkey park, there are some rules you have to follow. Don't touch or startle the monkeys. Keep a safe distance while photographing or shooting video. Don't show food or feed the monkeys because they'll take it with you. I'm glad I ate my banana before I got here and uh, they don't let you use any selfie sticks or fly any drones. It might scare the monkeys. If you come down to one of these areas, you can actually get up close and personal to the monkeys. Look, there's a papa monkey with a baby monkey, keeping the baby warm. Aww. Here's another group of them huddled together for warmth. This is a group of three or four. There's a group of two back there. I think this makes me want a cuddle buddy today to stay warm. On our way down, we stopped by Enza Cafe and had a really tasty bowl of chicken ramen. Uh, there was a British tour group in there while we were in there, and they were offered their choice of entree of ramen or fish and chips. Now, I'm not an expert on Japanese food, but the ramen was pretty tasty. That'd be my recommendation if you're going to eat here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click here to subscribe or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links are in the description below. Or you might enjoy watching one of these other videos from Japan. Click any of them to watch.